Hi everyone, this is Rebecca Lynn Barkley, aka Boopop1970. This is my review for today. And today's review, ladies and dudes, well, this is going to be the first time in my life I'm going to do my first anime review. And I guess you want to know which anime I'm going to review today. So I got it right here in this uh, Funimation catalog. So, uh, the anime I want to review today is the one right here. Uh, these two girls. Um, yep, this is the anime I'm going to review today is Rumbling Hearts. And to tell you the truth is, ladies and dudes, I do enjoy Rumbling Hearts. It's one of my favorite animes of all time. And let's just say I just love the animation, the story, well, except for the ending, and all that stuff. So anyway, ladies, ladies and dudes, let's get on to my first anime review. So the anime starts off with these four main characters named Haruka, Mitsuki, Takeyuki, and Shinji. They are just four normal high school kids who are living in a nice normal life and they're doing so many good stuff together. Like Haruka wants to become an author who can write children's books, Mitsuki who wants to become a good swimmer for her swimming team, Takigi's just relaxing in a nice beautiful sunny day, and for Shinji I think he's the most comedy relief person of the whole entire group. So together the, these four young adults are going to get ready for summer and get ready for to graduate and start their exams so they can have a nice normal life together and just be friends for the rest of their lives. Until this very unfaithful day when um, Takeyuki was late for another date with Haruka because he was wasting too much time with Shinji, you know, spending time each other for lunch and for giving Mitsuki her birthday present during the time that he's just freaking late for another day with Haruka. So when he was trying to get to the area that he needs to be in, he just found out there was a car accident and he had no idea who got hit. And then he discovered that uh, Haruka was the one who got hit by a car. And he just, he was just freaking upset and he got really heartbroken and all that stuff. But now, three years later, poor Haruka is in a coma. She is not the same Haruka she used to be. And there are so many events that she missed from the last three years. Like, she missed her graduation. She missed her exams. She didn't find out that uh, Takeyuki had an affair with her friend Mitsuki. Uh, Akane is in the swimming team now and so many stuff going on while she was in a coma for the last three years. So will ever Haruka find out the truth that three years had passed or will ever she find out that Takeyuki had an affair with Mitsuki or any other stuff that she missed from the last three years after she got hit by a car. So anyway that's the whole entire review of Rumbling Hearts. I did the best I could for it since it is my first one. So overall, I do enjoy this anime. It had a really good storyline, well, except for the ending. Um, I, I love the animation, I love the score, and I do like the character, except for one. So let me tell you about my strongest points and the weakest points of the anime. I will say the strongest point for the anime is it's a tie between the animation and the score. I love the animation. It's so darn beautiful. It's very bright, very colorful. This is one of the best animes out there that has the most brightest animation I have ever seen. And another thing I love about this anime is definitely the score. I love all kinds of scores in this anime. I like sad scores and 
emotional scores, beautiful scores, funny scores, any kind of score you can think of. It is so darn good. I love this anime to death. And I did see it uh, this week, or last week, when I checked out a couple of episodes. And now let's go on to the most weakest point of this anime. And there's only two weakest points that I found in this anime. After all, it is 14 episodes, but that's not the reason. Okay, the first reason I don't like Rumbly Heart is because of one character, Mitsuki. And I do understand to everybody in the world that every that everybody out there hates this character very much. Because you know why? She got so many flaws in the whole entire episode. Like, uh, she did steal Haruka's boyfriend and she betrayed her best friend and, uh, she drank too much and we see her naked a couple of times in a few episodes. And most of all, she did sleep with Shinji in one of the episodes. So yeah, I do understand what everybody's saying about Mitsuki. She is one of the worst anime characters of all time. And I do agree with everybody on this one. And yes, another weakest point about this anime is definitely the ending. Well, for me, I will say the ending was pretty darn decent. After all, there were a few good parts that I like about the ending. But I'm sure everybody got upset about what Takeyuki chose at the end. And this is what everybody's upset about, so I can understand that. But overall, it's decent, but I just don't like the part what Takeyuki had chose at the end. So I don't want to spoil it to all of you since everybody had known this anime. But to tell you the truth is, if you really want to see a real ending, you know that Takeyuki must choose a girl that he wants to be with, check out the Rumbling Heart next season, the OVA, only four episodes. I will say about the OVA, it is so darn good. I just love this OVA to death. I only seen episode one and four. They're the best ones in my opinion. I will say the storyline is so darn fresh. The animation is so freaking rich. And most of all, the characters were a whole lot better than the TV series. You know, they're way more likable right now, I guess. And now let's go on to the characters. There were only four good characters I love in this anime. They're so darn likable and memorable. I will say for these two characters I like, there were the first ones I like in this anime. It is definitely Ayu and Mis Misu. Uh, I forgot the girl with... The with the short gray hair's name, but overall, I do love these characters. They are the most cutest little waitresses I've ever seen. Well, especially for Ayu, she is definitely the funniest one, because I like the part where she caused trouble at the restaurant, even on, an, on episode 3. She is freaking hilarious. And I want to say that Lucy Christian and Monica Rehal, they did a fantastic job playing with these two characters. After all, those two beautiful actresses, they did work together on so many animes out there from the AVV films and Funimation. I mean, they are freaking hilarious. And another character I like from the anime is definitely Takeyuki's manager. I think Takeyuki's manager is definitely the most memorable one I have ever seen because he is very kind, very sweet, he's very honest to Takeyuki during their their job at the restaurant. I mean, I really like Takeyuki's manager. He's pretty cool and pretty memorable in my opinion. And now let's go on to the fourth character I like in this anime. is definitely Haruka Suzumiya. Now, this is one special character I cannot find a single flaw for. I mean, sh this girl is 
the most beautiful character I've ever seen in an anime. She is very beautiful, she's very kind, she's sweet, honest, beautiful looking, and to tell you the truth is, I really like her better with long hair instead of her short hair, because I want to see a nice young woman who has so much grace and beauty. I mean, Haruka is such a very beautiful character, and I cannot find a single flaw on this girl. She is very special in many ways, and I really loved her to death, and that's why she has the rights to be on my top 20 most favorite anime female characters of all time. After all, she's at number two. If all of you have seen my top 20 favorite females list, I worked so hard on that one. So please check it out, and please also check out a tribute to Haruka and Obro in Dream Wings. I also worked hard on that one as well. And now, ladies and dudes, it is time for my final thoughts of Rumbling Hearts. Let me get the picture. I will say, overall, Rumbling Hearts is such a good anime. It had a good storyline except for the ending. The characters are likable except for Mitsuki. I love the animation, I love the score, and I do love the songs from both opening and closing. And most of all, um... It's still a good anime to watch. After all, if maybe this anime is kind of underrated in my opinion, it's time for everyone to overlook at this one right away. So I will say I decided to give Rumbling Heart an 8 out of 10. And also for the OVA, uh, I decided to give it a perfect score of 10 out of 10 because uh, the storyline is fresh and the animation is rich. The characters were a whole lot better than the TV series, and finally, the most important reason I love about the OVA is when Haruka and Takuyuki are finally together again at last from all the trouble that they had from the last three years. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this review, and I did the best I could to do this one. Because it's really hard to explain about which anime I freaking enjoy the best. So, I hope you enjoyed this review, and join me next time for my next movie review. And it's going to be my favorite anime movie of all time, Spirited Away. So be prepared for that one, and I will see you all later. Sayonara.